coming off of a tough fall in terms of scoring goals and winning games and confidence, uh, the spring went as well as you could have anticipated. I think having 12 to 13, sometimes 14 players eligible to play in terms of injuries um, and having lost five seniors, a bunch of new starters, and I thought we did a great job in terms of playing more attractively, creating goals, and uh, ultimately getting some, some great results. So four wins, two ties, and a loss. Uh, we probably couldn't have scripted the spring to go much better, including scoring 13 goals after uh, only getting 10 all fall. Very confident coming off this spring, which has always proven in the past to have a successful fall. Um, having a lot of wins and scores under our belt really have the team pumped up, and we're excited to compete this fall. So the one thing that we decided to change at the end of the fall, uh, we went back and reviewed a bunch of video, and we felt like it wasn't just a case of our forwards not scoring goals, which um, to the naked eye it might appear that when you see scoring 10 goals. It was really more the breakdowns in the passing and receiving and getting to the final third and getting chances to score. So we probably spent uh, 10 to 15 minutes every practice throughout the winter and spring incorporating passing patterns and just basic technical passing and receiving. And I think you saw that pay off in terms of then being able to create more chances uh, have the ball more and have the ball in more dangerous areas. Well, there's definitely a difference even in practices this spring. Um, the competitiveness is on a completely different level, which has definitely shown into our games. And um, that alone creates a lot more fun energy amongst the team. Um, we're able to carry that from our practices into the games. Sure. You know, the three keys here at Xavier are to succeed in the classroom, to carry ourselves outside of the classroom as great ambassadors for the university and to obviously achieve on the field. So when we took over five years ago, there'd been some uh, team GPAs that weren't up to what our standards would be. So I think four semesters ago, we set the women's soccer record for team GPA at over 3.5. And we have uh, matched or bettered that for four straight semesters, including this past semester where women's soccer finished second uh, in the entire athletic department in terms of team GPA. So obviously now getting it done in the classroom pretty regularly. Um, off the field, our kids do a great job, and now it's bringing it together this fall in terms of a uh, winning record. We have continued to work with City Gospel through winter and spring on Thursday nights. And um, we also have some players on the team that contribute to the Boys and Girls Club. In terms of fun activities and team building activities, we have done paintball and canoeing and just fun activities like that to really get the team. In terms of our incoming class, you know, we, we picked up too early. We uh, got a transfer who came in in January, and then one of our incoming 15s graduated high school and started with us in January. So having two kids in that group, and then they're going to be joined by a class of seven that will show up here in August. And I think that really, that group of nine, will be a great addition to the returners that we have. You know, we, we clearly lost some good uh, seniors who have moved on, but in terms of quality and depth, this fall will be probably the most that we have in terms of, again, that, uh, that addition of the incoming kids and the returning kids coming back with some experience. So I think we'll be in a pretty good position going into the fall 15. The schedule of the fall is a balance of trying to uh, not burn us out in terms of too much team travel and uh, I think within region, we can find multiple games that fit what we want to do and can give us some good competition. So from in our opening weekend where we'll go on the road and play Evansville and Purdue, both teams have been to several NCAA tournaments. I think that's a great little local, somewhat local test for us. Uh, we do have a nice stretch of home games then in September, which will be huge for our kids and our fans. And it's all in the name of getting us prepared for those nine Big East games. and. As the past two years, we expect, uh, we expect it to be a, a gauntlet going through the Big East again. But certainly this will be the most prepared that a Xavier team has been to handle that schedule.